it's still in the works. It's um, you're the first person to hear about it, actually, other than those that are involved in the project itself. It's called Sonic Love Affair, and it's a very interesting uh, film about a funeral uh, band that basically ends up finding their own musical voice and uh, coming out of the, um, the dark world of uh, funeral music and uh, very sort of European in black and white. Um, very sort of Jacques Tati, if you're familiar with any of his work. That's what I think people love about your films. They have this dark humour. So that's what we can rely on you for. I can't wait to see it. It sounds incredible. Um, so looking at um, the Australian film industry in general, I mean, it's, it's not easy for anyone, but you seem to have forged a brilliant career like, I don't know, for over 10 years now I've heard of your stuff being put out there. Um, so we'd love to hear a bit more about how you've been making it work. Um, you've got a studio that you are mm. working on. I think you're there at the moment. I What's am, the yes. plan with that? To answer your first question, it's just blind, stubborn persistence is the answer. Um, I think it's very, very hard for anyone. To, I was talking to um, some of the interns we have here today about how difficult it is to, to make films. And um, anyone that, had, that is successful or otherwise will tell you that they've had a slate of projects that they've been wanting to get up. Um, and you never quite know which one is going to um, hit the mark or, or get the attention of of generally those with money that will make it uh, doable. So the answer to the question is it's just be a pure blind persistence, um, you know, uh, sort of, for want of a better word, maybe um, maybe an unrealistic sense of your own worth uh, where you just uh, basically keep selling your ideas to people until something sticks. Um, but also in my case, I'm always finding different ways to um, finance my work. Um, and I, so I, I do like carving things up a little bit. I, I enjoy acting from time to time, really because I think by being an actor, I get to learn how to direct better, I hope. Uh, by being in an actor's shoes, hopefully it helps when I come to working with actors. Uh, I enjoy it. I mean, I've got an ego, so I enjoy acting. Um, and uh, I enjoy writing, producing, um, music-wise. I, I, I think music is a very important part of filmmaking, so um, I enjoy doing that. But you know, it's 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 having your fingers in a few different pies. Uh, in terms of uh, Dream Screen Australia, uh, I had no intention of building a, a film studio. I uh, I was in fact uh, ready to make a film with Guy Pearce. We're about to go to Bulgaria to shoot my next film when COVID hit. And suddenly we were all grounded. And I just looked looked into the uh, magic ball and thought, I don't think any of us are going to be directing for a long while. And if we do, it'll all be centralized around around our home. And I thought, well, how am I, how am I going to make a film set in New York, in Melbourne? And I thought, well, the only way I can do it is with this technology, this virtual production. So, and no one was doing it at the time. So I thought, well, what if, I set it up, why not? What a better way to set up a studio like this but, but to have it actually be made by a, a filmmaker. So we spent 2020 getting it ready. Uh, by November, we had actually got the company up and running. We've been running for a couple of years. We've worked on many TV series. We've just finished our second season of uh, Universal NBC's La Brea, uh, that TV series. So we've been doing some great work on that and a lot of commercials. And basically what it is, is we put, we have a giant uh, LED screen in our studio that's about 15 meters long by six meters high. And we put an actor in front of it. And with the, the technology we've got, we can make it look like that actor is actually at that location. So uh, it's, it's great, great new sort of, um, it's how the, the, the Mandalorian was shot. A lot of productions are using this technology now. That is so cool. And, and to think that you're making it happen with your own hands, that's really, it's, it's commendable. It's so wonderful that we're connecting today about this.